Hello, hello, what up? It's Johnny Move Mad Man, and I'm back. And today is probably one of the most exciting videos I've ever done, ever. Uh, because today we are going to be looking for the first time in 4K at Mr. Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. Uh, so I just got this, this just literally came in the post, went to Amazon, got it the next day so had to wait 24 hours but I got over that, it was alright. Uh, so look there's your front cover and your back cover, let's take the uh, the plastic off and have a little look yeah, here we go, I'm going to decide to take plastic off a steel wood, oh look at that, so so this is the special Lionsgate release, so it's got this special slip cover over it as well. So you'll notice if I do this. Oh look, his ears, his ears come off. Ugh. And then you've got the title still there with all the characters on it as well. And your back, back cover as well. I'm pretty sure if you open that out like that. That's what that looks like, it's pretty nice isn't it? And then you've got your, your slip there as well with the back cover there. Now you're ready for this, we've opened this. Do you want to see those discs? Look at them, so you've got your Blu-ray there and your 4K there. So new artwork as well, so well done. New artwork, I like that. Look, a nice little, little drawing. I love a little drawing, haven't ya? Yeah. So I'm going to slip this into my player. I've got the old DVD. I've got the old DVD and Blu-ray as well, so I can pair it all. It'll be exciting for you. And then I'll be back to tell you more. Don't go anywhere. Well, that was interesting. I'll tell you that now. That was very, very interesting for me. Uh, I just had to look at the div. DVD and the Blu-ray and the 4K and compared all three images you might be shocked as to what I have to say uh, first of all I think we'll look over them yeah look at those packages the other two because I didn't show you them did I uh, so I've got a DVD and uh, I'll show you that first so as you can see this is my the idea of it, uh, there you go, it's like a, it's almost like a steel book, you literally put this in a tin, see, and then if you take this out, there's your very strange display, special features though, that was nice. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's the the beat of it. Okay. Then we move on to the Blu-ray again. Quite similar to the other one that I showed you. The disc is even exactly the same as the. The other one that I showed you. But now, this is what you clicked on the video for, isn't it? What did we think of this? So, obviously, when you look at a, a lower quality disc picture and a higher quality disc picture, the higher quality is going to be higher quality than the lower quality. So, it was going to look better anyway, I think. But anyway, uh, literally that shot opened with them around the table. And straight away I was just like, I can't believe that, there, that a picture could have that much improvement to it. I noticed straight away, like, the tones of the skin were very dimmed down. At first I thought the picture was going to be a little bit darker when I saw the writing on the credits. 
but then when the picture actually opens out the picture's not actually that darker and the grain isn't too much like I wish I wasn't watching this because the screen's just black the grain was very very fine which I appreciated it was nice to see a bit of grain there but also it wasn't so grainy because they were trying really hard to remind you that this film wasn't shot yesterday there are so many parts of this that literally looked like it was shot yesterday so close-ups of people's faces and hair just looks absolutely amazing and that blood that blood is very very red and you like a bit of red don't we i was extremely shocked i think a lot of the time i watch videos of people talking about new 4k releases i just think i'm willing to bet it's probably not going to be that good and then you buy it and you watch it and you're like oh they were just exaggerating for the distributor or whatever but this is the first one of the first times i think i have bought a 4k blu-ray and watched it and thought actually actually i agree with every single one of those people doing reviews for these as well um so yeah i couldn't couldn't tell you how much i enjoyed this i'm actually gonna edit this video put it online and then sit down and watch this whole thing that's how that's how excited i am watch reservoir dogs if you're a fan of reservoir dogs and you think you might like that upgrade it's definitely worth it on a on a higher note for you here this has got the the 4k disc and the blu-ray disc are both in there uh the blu-ray disc quality in here is obviously a scan from the 4k disc because the picture on the blu-ray in here is very very different to the picture on the older blu-ray so they've obviously upscaled it and redone it and stuff like that as well so I'd say this is definitely worth getting if you don't have a 4K player and you do have a Blu-ray player because you still get a really, really good upgrade with the Blu-ray as well. So I thought that was really good too. Uh, so that video was meant to be out on Monday, but obviously it wasn't because I didn't get it on Monday. I only got it on Tuesday. So the video will be out on Wednesday. Uh, so I put my spirited video out on Monday instead because I would have done that for Wednesday otherwise. So anyway, enough of the cold stories for you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. I'll be back on Friday. There's a special one on Friday. A lot of you have been begging for this video for some reason, so look forward to Friday. But I'm gonna go for now, and I will see you again on Friday. Who knew? Goodbye. <laughs>